couple of months, but also Kai was six? Uh, five, five at the time, yeah. Oh. Um, Brooke was obviously has, has no memory of Lee and she now she's now six and she actually gets very upset and emotional that she can't remember she sleeps with a picture of him and really? gets quite upset that she, I can't remember daddy what did he do what did he say and um, but for Kai at the time he was like my my main focus because I could see he was five and he just become very withdrawn would have nightmares just didn't understand why other people's dads were coming home and he didn't how on earth do you explain that to a child of five um, <laughs> I don't know how I got, I think I'm lucky that I've got brilliant support with my family and friends. I was very honest with him, I didn't want to confuse him. Um, so I, yeah, I tried to be as honest as I could, but I just tried to do as much as we can to remember him. Now, you, you, the charity was inspired by Kai's smile. Yeah, it was about, it was about nine months after. Um, my family said to me, come on Nick, please come on a holiday with us, it'll do you good. So we went and I sat there and watched Kai in the pool laughing with his cousins and I just thought, I think it was my wake-up call that I needed because I thought I have not seen him laugh like that in nine months. And then I started to think, you know, how many other kids are like this and going through the same as Kai? You know, we need to do something to make them know it's okay to smile and remember their dad in a fun way. So tell me about your charity. <laughs> so I set up um, Scotty's Little Soldiers in memory of Lee, but it's to support children that have lost a parent whilst they were serving. So whether it's RAF, Navy. Um, or army, whether it was on tour or due to an accident or illness, you know, we want to do support them through their life, really, to make sure that you know they know people care about them and are remembering every day. So, what do you do for them? Um, we've been we've had such amazing support. So we've been able to do uh, we've been able to buy five holiday homes around the UK that are stunning, stunning lodges, and they can go there whenever they need that break um, just to get away, really, because I think that's what I found was really important. Um, to make new memories and then we also you know we send them the gifts at special times of the year so birthday and Christmas just to oh, let them wow. know they're not forgotten and then I think I think when I first started I just wanted to let them smile and now I've realized from meeting the families that actually the charity is a lifeline you know it is there they meet other children in the same circumstances they get them special friendships that they'll have forever you know Brooke's six but she's got a very special friendship with an 18 year old and Who's I just think yeah thing. he's gone through exactly the same thing